Pacemaker Line is Craig Wynn. Craig Wynn is America's most knowledgeable spokesperson on the connection between Islam and terror. Craig Wynn exposes Islam's scandalous beginnings and probes its darkest secrets right here on this radio broadcast. And you need to stay tuned and listen to what he has to say because what he has discovered is shocking and more sinister than can ever be imagined. Craig Wynn, welcome to the Edge Radio Broadcast. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Craig, you have a tremendous amount of information exposing what Islam is up to. Why don't you start with a few basics and then we'll get right into the meat and potatoes of this thing. Sure. In fact, I think there's about uh, 3,000 pages of information on Islam at the site and all of it's free, including uh, both books that I've written on Islam. The reality is that uh, Islam is quite different than what our president is telling us, what our media is telling us, and what Muslims will tell us. There are five books that comprise uh, the Islamic scriptures, unlike Judeo-Christianity, where you have a Bible that is written chronologically and provides context and, and is in of itself sufficient. With Islam, the Quran is is utter gibberish. It has no context. It has no chronology. And therefore, to be understood, it has to be reordered chronologically and set into the context of Muhammad's life. And the only way to do that is to read and understand the Sirah, which is the biography of Muhammad, and the history of the formation of Islam. And when you take those two books and you put them, which in these books now are the only books that tell us about Muhammad and the formation of Islam. He is unknown to secular history. And you put them into the Quran. What you discover is the most revolting, satanic, violent, political and religious dogma ever conceived by humankind. The Quran is literally a declaration of war against all mankind. And the Hadith, which is the words and deeds of Muhammad, is a terrorist manifesto. Muhammad, as he is depicted in his scriptures, the Quran and Hadith, was a terrorist having led 75 terrorist raids. He was a pedophile and a rapist and a slave trader and built Islam on barbaric conquests where he plundered all of his victims and bribed his first adherents. So when a fellow like Osama bin Laden says, I am following Muhammad's example, and our media and our politicians say that he has corrupted Islam, it is Osama bin Laden who is telling the truth and not our politicians or our media. Wow. Well, that was an amazing opening statement about your knowledge and information concerning Islam. What you, what you said is, is, is not the peace-loving religion that we've all been led to believe. Even our own president is trying to indicate that. Is that so that's not exactly the truth, is it? Well, our president is lying to us about Islam. Now, that is devastating because 1,500 Americans have died as a result of that deception, and 10,000 Americans have been severely wounded, some many mutilated, because of that uh, deception and America is infinitely most, more vulnerable because of that deception. Yeah. There is nothing peaceful about Islam. There has never been anything peaceful about Islam in its first hundred years. It not only conquered all of Arabia, forever leaving Arabia without any freedoms and choice, but it conquered Israel, Syria, uh, Egypt, most of Turkey and the Byzantine uh, Empire, and Persia. And within a hundred years, the first Muslims conquered everything from Spain to India. So Islam was born in an ocean of blood, mm -hmm. and it has never changed. Well, Craig, uh, you wrote the book uh, with another gentleman, called, I believe, called Tea with Terrorists, and then you wrote your current book, I, I assume it's your current book, Prophet of Doom. Uh, how did you get to even investigate? Uh, are, are you a Bible scholar? or what, What's your interest in finding out the truth of Islam? Uh, well, I, my current book is actually a book on, uh, on Bible prophecy uh, called The Future's History, so mm -hmm. I spend... About 12 hours a day, six days a week, amplifying biblical uh, prophecy from the original Hebrew and Greek. Yeah. But uh, my reason for coming to understand Islam is on the morning of 9-11, uh, I was convinced that our president, I had spent considerable time with him, knew him personally, would not respond to the attacks of 9-11 appropriately, and I knew our media would not. I have been on the front page of national periodicals, and I know that there's very few people in the national media that uh, have any regard whatsoever for truth. So, so you, you, I said, felt you, you said that President Bush did not respond adequately? That is correct. Yeah, everything he has done since 9-11 has been wrong. Now, I am a conservative Republican. In fact, I am probably more conservative than anyone in your audience. I am a constitutionalist. Uh, and... I was positive that he would respond wrong. He actually did respond wrong. In fact, his initial statements uh, talking about uh, his belief that this was Al-Qaeda as opposed to Islam, his initial response that Islam was a loving and peaceful religion, that the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran are the same God, 
Uh, the fact he had a imam give the benediction at the National Cathedral commemorating 9-11. It's like asking Adolf Hitler to give the benediction at Auschwitz. Uh, and then it goes off to Afghanistan and Iraq. Gargantuan mistakes both. And then tries to uh, justify being in Iraq by saying we're going to create democracy in an Islamic world. Every one of those things are grotesque mistakes that display either a complete ignorance of what Islam is or a desire to be political, uh, knowing the truth, and instead uh, deceiving the uh, the nation. So, yeah, well, well, in your view, why did President Bush respond in the way that he did? Well, he told me before he was president that the reason he wanted to run is he wanted a crisis uh, when he was in the White House that he would shine in a time of crisis. Um, you know, every book that's been written about the president's first hundred days by insiders has said that he began talking about justifications for invading Iraq in January when he was inaugurated mm -hmm. months before 9-11 even happened. But do you, do you, well, is President Bush a Christian? No, I don't believe so. I know that's what he says, but you cannot, for example, have a roadmap to peace which gives Israel to Muslims mm -hmm. if you were a Christian. If you were a Christian and you were part of an organization called Skull and Bones, which is a purely satanic organization, and you were asked about your time in it, you wouldn't say, hey, that's secret. Mm -hmm. well, what you would say is, you know, I was young and foolish, and I should not have been part of yeah. that organization. Yeah. If you were a, uh, a Christian, you would never say that Allah, the God of Islam, who is modeled after Satan, is the same as Yahweh, the God who inspired the Bible. So if he is a Christian, he is the most hypocritical Christian in the history of mankind. So are you saying then you really aren't a Christian if you, uh, if you uh, say there's another way to God other than the, the God of the Christian Bible? The, according to the scriptures, the Old Covenant and the New Covenant scriptures, there is only one way to heaven, and that is to trust the atoning sacrifice of Yeshua. If you do not, if, if you instead rely on yourself, if you rely on the teachings of men, if you rely on religions, according to what the scriptures say, you can't get to heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds to me, I'm sure that a lot of, a lot of Christians out there believe President Bush is an honest and a decent man. But could he be uh, responding in an ignorant fashion more, or do you think he is just totally misled? Well, you, you ask the question the same, the same way both times. Yeah, Ignorant really. and misled would be the uh, would be the same thing. There's either he is either one of two things. He is either completely ignorant of what the Islamic scriptures say, therefore can be misled, or he knows what they say and is misleading the rest of us. Yeah. Since he is the president of the United States. And since he has committed hundreds of thousands of Americans to Iraq, and since we've lost 1,500 men and had 10,000 of them severely injured, and since we have spent $300 billion of taxpayer money, to do that without knowing who the enemy is would be even more inexcusable than actually knowing the truth and deceiving America. Either way, it's inexcusable, so I, yeah. I'm not sure it matters. Well, my, yeah, my question was, is he ignorant or dumb? <laughs> well, <laughs> but, no, listen, but, it, but my, and my point is, it yeah. doesn't matter. And, yeah. and listen, I am a conservative. I am more conservative, as I say, than okay. anybody in your audience. So you're I, I understand that, that, that the last election was, was a choice between the lesser of two evils. Mm -hmm. The reason I have to speak this frankly and this negatively about the current president of the United States is because I know what Islam is, I know what the Bible has to say about it, and I know what the Quran and Hadith reveal, and I know why Muslims flew planes into our buildings, why they mutilate, why they celebrate acts of terror, why they are terrorists, and based upon the truth about this satanic, violent, demented religion, Everything we have done as a nation has been wrong and there's a consequence.